Hey everyone, Nat Frankenstein here. Um, I thought I'd do a really quick, um, a really quick, um, catch up video, um, or check in video rather. Um, I know I haven't posted anything in quite a while. Um, I've been super busy. I've gotten a new job. Um, and a lot of things have been happening. Like it's been really kind of exciting. So, um, I just thought I'd let you know what's been going on. So, as I mentioned, I did get a new job, um, so I've been working like 30, almost 38 hours a week, every week, um, so it's pretty much full time. Um, I'm loving it, it's really, really great. Um, I'm working um, as uh, tech support, which is really, really cool, and um, I really like all the people that I work with. It's a really good bunch of people, which is um, always makes the job a lot easier. I think as long as you, um, as long as you get along with everyone that you work with, I think it it helps because I mean, no one wants to work really, but if you like the people you work with, I think it makes it a lot easier. Um, so I've been doing that for the past almost two months. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's really been great. Um, as you can see, I've changed my hair color. And you'll notice there's like these little frizzy bits that just kind of stick out from my hair. So I had a bit of a, um, I had a bit of a hair dyeing fail. Um, so I went to bleach my hair because as you'll remember, or maybe you don't remember, um, my hair was red and I let it fade out to a kind of peachy color and my hair was nice and long too like it was probably down to here and um so we went to put bleach in and the first bleaching process was fine like it bleached it down but it the color was not as blonde as I wanted it so I could put originally I wanted to go lilac purple like a lilac purple kind of color um so we bleached my hair again and on the second lot of bleaching, which was done in the same day, um, my hair began to break off. And every time I'd brush it, chunks were just coming out. And um, yeah, so it was kind of bad. Um, and I had to cut my hair, so I cut quite a few inches off my hair. Um, I don't mind it this short though, like it's not terrible, but I had to put this kind of magenta color through my hair because there was just no way that um, I could do the pastel purple. So it was a bit of a drama, but it, it turned out okay. I'm not, you know, I'm not dissatisfied. I don't like that I had to cut my hair, but shit happens. So it's not too bad. But yeah, I have these like short bits because that's when my hair snapped and broke off. So, oh well. Um, what else has been going on? So, um, I'll be going to America in October with my, uh, with my boyfriend. We've booked flights. Um, we're going to Disney World. I'm so excited. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. Um, going to Disney is something I've wanted to do, like, my whole life. Um, so to be able to do this and especially with my boyfriend, it's going to be really, really exciting. Um, we're going to Universal Studios as well. Um, so we're going predominantly so we can do the Halloween Horror Nights because they look amazing. Um, and one of the other things we've booked already is also Walker Stalker Con, which is a Walking Dead convention. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. I can't wait to meet Norman Reedus. <laughs> so it should be really amazing. Um, and we're going for about a month, just over a month, but, um, in between the things that we've already booked, I think we're just going to wing it. We kind of have a good idea of what we want to do. So, um, we've kind of got like an itinerary kind of roughly mapped out, but yeah, that should be really good. So, um, any of you who live in America or who have traveled to America in October, um, let me know what it's like. I know it's autumn over there, obviously. Um, but just let me know kind of if there's anything specific I should pack or take with me or things I should, you know, look out for in October. Um, just leave me a comment in the comments below. Um, what else have we done? I don't know. It's just work's been so hectic and I, I love it. Like, like I mentioned, I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's so hard after, you know, having not worked for quite a while. 
um, because of my injury, because of the car accident, um, getting back into working routine is really, it was hard at first. Like I'm still, I guess I'm still kind of getting used to it, but, um, as I mentioned, it's good when you love the people that you work with and you enjoy the job. So, um, so I think that kind of helps a bit, but, um, what else? So for those of you who don't know, I actually had surgery, um, on my stomach, um, I had a stomach sleeve, so, and it was to do with, um, a lot of the weight that I'd put on after the car accident. It's not good for me, um, because of my ankle injury, which is a permanent thing. Um, it wasn't good for me to be carrying around all that weight. Um, so I had a stomach surgery, um, the, the gastric sleeve, um, so I had that done in February and since February, uh, I've already lost 21 kilos. So, um, it's kind of crazy when you think that you're carrying so much extra weight, like it really kind of makes you think about your health and, um, you know, the amount of stress that extra body weight puts on you. Um, I won't talk a whole lot about it in this video because again, it's just an update video, but I think I might do a separate video on it just because I know there are people out there who, um, you know, struggle with weight and who may be considering some kind of bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery. Um, and so I think I could maybe talk about my experience, um, and just shed some insight on what the process was like and, um, what to expect and things like that. So I'll make a separate video for that, but I am 21 kilos down, which is amazing. Um, and I, you really can feel the difference. Um, I don't really see it a whole lot. People around me tell me they do. Um, but I, I don't see it a whole lot. Um, but it's great nonetheless. So, um, it's, I'm, I think I'm on track and I'm doing really well, which is good. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot more that I have to tell you. I just wanted to check in with you guys and say hi. Um, I'm actually just about to leave for work. I have to work on a Saturday, which is, but it's okay. Um, I've had every weekend off up until now. Um, so I can't really complain, but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to say hi and just let you know, what was up and what I've been doing and all that kind of jazz and um yeah I, I I'll try and make more videos like it's something I've been thinking about a lot but just haven't been able to get around to um I'm currently working night shifts so it's kind of I find myself sleeping in during the day and I don't really have a lot of time to um you know do YouTube videos plus I've cut down on my spending a lot because of the holiday so I haven't been buying a whole lot of stuff for um you know for me to review but um, yeah, so I just thought I'd say hi and that's what's been going on in my life and I, I will try and make more videos. Um, but until then, you guys, I'm Natty Frankenstein. Have a good weekend. I will see you guys later. Bye.